Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 201, Power Pages Templates. One of the most significant features that was introduced as part of the Power Pages rebranding is the new templates area. Going back to the days of Dynamics 365 portals, we've always had a few different choices of where to start when creating a portal. There used to be the basic or starter portal, employee self-service, customer self-service, community, and partner portal templates. Those were our choices for many years. Now, with Power Pages, we've got more options, and I expect this number to grow at a faster rate than we've seen in the past. In the Power Pages admin area, you can view the list of available templates in the Templates area. Some of these are specific real-world use cases that have been built out. For example, templates exist for an after-school program registration, building permit applications, and scheduling meetings with a financial institution. You'll also notice that there are a number of templates called Site Design. These provide different variations for the look and feel of your site, including home page layouts. But they don't come with any specific pre-built functionality. Think of these as variations of the old basic or starter portal. If the current environment has Dynamics 365 enabled in it, you'll see even more options. You'll see the list of templates I mentioned earlier that have been around for a while, as well as some new options like modern community and order returns. In upcoming tips, we'll look closer at the features offered by some of the new templates built to help with real world use cases. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 201 on Power Pages templates useful.